Hey no y'all, welcome back to another video on my channel. And for today's video, I'm just gonna be doing my curly hair routine. I just got out the shower, as you can see, I freshly washed my hair. Um, I usually don't wash my hair like fresh every single time that I, you know, do the curly hair routine. Some days I just wet my hair and then just get out the shower. But today I just washed it. We just gonna get straight into it. Not really much else to say. The products that I use are the Miguel Pomegranate and Honey uh, Curl Smoothie. Oh, I saw some of this one. I only got one yesterday, but there you go. And then I also use the Shea Moisture uh, Coconut Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, I know there was like a whole big scandal or whatever, not scandal, but like a whole thing about Shea Moisture products and how like the, you know, things changed or whatever. But um, you know, this is just a, one product that I only use by Shea Moisture. I really don't use anything anything else by them so this is what i wash my hair with it's just literally a generic shampoo i got it from the hair store um usually i don't ever put um like regular conditioner and that i rinse out of my hair so when i wash my hair in the shower i literally just wash with shampoo and then yeah and then i just rinse it out and then when I get out the shower, that's when I apply my conditioner. And I only ever put the curl smoothies in my hair. Um, I don't have another clamp, unfortunately. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start on this side. I have a spray bottle here. Shout out my brother, he gave it to me. So what I like to do, this spray bottle is just so freaking amazing because you literally could just it's like a mist. Oh, my camera's about to die. It's literally like a mist. So your hair doesn't really get too, too wet. Just wet enough for you to go in with, you know, the product. What I like to do after I put the water is just go ahead and comb it out before even putting any type of product in my hair. I always comb it out first. Uh, it's not very, like, tingly just because... I had combed it yesterday. Just comb the brush straight through. And then, usually I add like a little bit more water to it. And then I'll go in with, this one's like literally gone. I went and gotten some more hair products yesterday because this is just something that I do not run out of. I go in with the Shea Moisture and I just literally put my fingers all through my hair. Get it all in there. Honestly though, if I don't know if, if you guys tried these products and didn't like them, but honestly, you just have to like find the right product for your hair, literally like. Cause I have not always known like what are like the the best products to use for my hair and I just discovered these well I discovered the Shea Moisture first and as for like the Miel I discovered that a little bit after boom and then I go in with the Miel Carn Hansing Smoothie I just put like a couple pumps and then I just rub that through as well my camera is literally about to die. I have my other battery charging right now, but I really would like not for it to die. So, boinky, boop, boop, boop. Just go ahead and keep going through. And that side is pretty good. 
this is always the easier side of my hair um this side is the one that kind of gives me trouble so that's why i kind of decided to just start off with this side um i don't diffuse my hair just because i don't i don't know if i just don't do it right or like what the problem is but i just i can't diffuse my hair it comes out like it just is not really good my curls in like their best state drying wise is just to let it air dry and let it dry throughout the day so i just have to like rock the wet rock the wet curl look for a minute in the day until my hair dries give or take like for my hair to completely dry it gives like with the hair products in here maybe like sheesh like three or four hours it takes forever with hair products in it but yeah mm -hmm. just let that mist and then kind of get the water through there um i go ahead and go through detangle the bottom work my way up to the top oh my okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but then repeat the process. Um, I don't know if I wanna go a little bit more water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with the shade moisture first. This one is literally like dope for a look. Get your money's worth. Get your money's worth. I want every last. Ugh. Fresh one, right on deck, that's how I like it. Okay, so you're gonna go in, make sure you get this one at the top. go back in on my ends and kind of like comb it through comb it through the bottom just so that the product gets all in my hair like to get really really in there then i go in like i said a few pumps of the curl enhancing, curl enhancing smoothie. just the meal curl smoothie <sighs> sometimes there's like spots in my hair that like I don't get to and so they'll appear to be a little bit frizzy but you really don't want your hair to dry like look frizzy while it's curly because how it looks is like gonna be a product of how it dries basically that's just my opinion um so yeah I just make sure that it's all good in the hoodie up here it's still kind of frizzy I'm gonna go back in with the brush, get that product through there. You just like have to play with it. Like nobody, like honestly, I'm gonna be quite honest. Sometimes I have super, super, super good curl days. Other days, they're all right. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's all about how you play with it. I try to be really, really consistent. Honestly, for the most part, how it looks, on most days, um, I'm really consistent with it, but um, sometimes you're just you're not gonna have like you know, some days are better than the others. Sometimes it be hit or miss with curls; they do what they want. It's hair. It is what it is. Um, I go in with the bottom, like kind of like put a little bit of the meal curl smoothie, and then just add a little bit more of the shea moisture and i go in on my ends 
and I pull them down like this. Um, almost like a little finishing little touch on the ends. You do want like your bottom curls to just be popping. Mm -hmm. That might want us to be it for this side. My front pieces like to irritate the person. I'm not a fan of this side of my hair right now. Like when I decide to do a video, you guys want to act up? Cool. That's fine, I guess. It's whatever. This, honestly, is the thicker side of my hair. I don't know what, you know what? It's probably because I sleep on this side. This is the side that I like always sleep on. So I feel like my edges are thinner on this side. And honestly, I need to start sleeping with the bonnet on anyways. See, look, I doubted this side. I literally doubted this side. And it's not even giving me problems today. See, look, look at, now look at that. Usually I start with this side because it's the side that gives me the most problems. But I thought since I was doing a video, like, why not start with my good side and my good side want to act up today y'all you know what i'm still gonna post this probably i don't know like i said my front two pieces like in the front because i do style my hair often in different styles um sometimes they have trouble curling and so i just have to you know pay them a little bit more attention so if you're somebody who does style your hair your front two pieces more than likely will start acting up especially when it especially just because it's used to being like slicked down if that's the kind of style you like look at this these ones are all like bleh and these ones are like bleh this side actually came out better than this side today who would have thought okay so to finish it off, I basically just go through, make sure, like I said, these two front pieces are like good. They're gonna dry right. Be if it like it's a little bit frizzy. I mean, a little frizz is okay, but like if it's really obvious, like you might wanna fix that. So this is pretty much it. I mean, I don't really wanna fully turn all the way around because like. I'm not even gonna lie, like I realized yesterday when I was looking in the mirror, I don't show the back of my curls nearly as much love as the front. That's it, it's pretty much all I do. Like I said, I am a person who likes to have my hair air dry because diffusing, I don't know if I don't have to do it, but it just, I don't prefer diffusing. But if you prefer diffusing, after that, of course, you would diffuse your hair. But, um, white stuff in it still. But yeah, that's pretty much all I do for my curly hair routine. Uh, for anybody who has any questions, wants my like input or anything, or if I didn't explain something right and I kind of just rushed through, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Um, go ahead and leave a like. Like I said, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys try any of these products out. The um, 
curl enhancing smoothie for Shea Moisture or the Miel Curl Smoothie. If you try it out and you end up liking it, let me know. If you already use it and you love it, comment down below, let me know. But yeah, y'all, that's all for my video today. Um, I'll go ahead and update you guys. At the end of the day, I'll insert a clip of like how my hair ended up drying. Oh, okay, so y'all, so this is pretty much it at the end of the day. It didn't get as poofy because I was at work, like I said, so usually it would be more poofy. I would poof it out a little bit more, but I kind of just let it do what it's been doing today. But this is pretty much the finished product. This is what it looks like by the end of the day. Usually I can make this last until like tomorrow. I do two day hair sometimes um i go to the gym so i can't always do like two day hair because my hair gets all messed up at the gym but that's pretty much all for today like comment why are you pause the tv and subscribe like comment and subscribe let me lay a great time on you don't hesitate no don't you just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill Just say you will, will